Hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, hi. <clears throat> Hello, Angela, how are you? Um, very well, teacher, and you? How are you? I am hot, it's very hot today. Okay, yes, it's true. It's very, very hot. Very, very hot all day. Every day. Do you have plans for vacation? Um, no. Um, I don't know who. In the class, the uh, the English. Yes. Do you have? Do you have um? No, next week. Next week is vacation. Do you have plans? Uh, yes, yes. I continue. Okay. But do you have vacation? Um, yes. Uh, I have vacation. Jueves, uh, Tuesday, and Friday, the Saturday. <clears throat> but the day, the vacation days are when Thursday and Friday. Yes, and Saturday. Oh, and Saturday. Yes. Only the government and schools take the um, complete week, correct? Excuse me, teacher. Can you repeat? <clears throat> the government and schools they take the complete week. They complete the platform. Okay, Angela, listen, please. Okay. The, the government and schools take the complete week. Excuse me, teacher. I don't know, understand. Okay, Angela, we are talking about vacation. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. You told me vacation is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes, it's correct. Right. Okay, great. I said the government and schools take the complete week, correct? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Um, <clears throat> they go on the, the vacation and the school, the my daughter, is the complete the, the week. Public schools, the majority, yes. yes. Hi, Claudia, how are you? Hello, I'm doing well, and you? I'm okay. How How is your third day? Um, a little bit uh, busy and hard because I spent around two hours and a half on the traffic jam. <laughs> That's why. Uh. Yes. You know, I never understand why a call center doesn't open a branch near like Santa Ana or something because there's a lot oh, of Lourdes. people. Lourdes. Yeah, there's a lot of people from Sonsonate, Santa Ana, Lourdes, San Miguel. Yes. Open one in San Miguel too. Okay. Gerardo, how are you? You're hey, back. Teacher. I'm back. Hey. Sorry for for what happened yesterday, but I have a I have to attend a client. No, it's okay. No worries. It's work. Yes, a part of, of being working in, in Anda, sometimes I get some particular clients. So yesterday, a client called me that he needs to meet me because he need a design for this new house. So 
uh, I had to to meet with with with, with her family. Um, oh, okay. All right, no problem. Um, okay, thanks. Gerardo, do you work next week? Because Anda sometimes is national, sometimes is private. Correct. <laughs> No, it, 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 it's 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 public, but um, I don't say in English autonomo. Se me dio la palabra, Reina. Hola, let me check. Okay. Uh, yes, it's autonomo. It's, it's autonomo. Uh, but we work and we will work on Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And... Since Wednesday, we're having vacation. You're having vacation? Yes. My vacation uh, begins on Wednesday. Cool. And, and, and uh, so if you want to pay a bill Wednesday or, or Thursday in, in the office of Anda, you can't. So it's going to be open until Thursday. No, until Wednesday. Until until Tuesday. Until oh, until Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Cool. And we're back Monday. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Tomorrow the traffic is going to be crazy. How, how is Santa Ana? Is there is there a lot of traffic in Santa Ana? It's already crazy. Santa Ana, it's it's becoming like a little San Salvador. Oh yeah, San Miguel too, Robert. I don't have ideas, sir, because I don't go out. Just stay home the yeah. whole day. <laughs> and where where do you live in San Miguel, Bert? Uh, actually, I live outside outside the city, so I don't go to the downtown. Oh, okay. So, oh, cool. Yeah, it's not necessary because I live close to the mall, two blocks from my house. It's a it's a mall. Metro Centro? No, El Encuentro. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it's necessary to go to the downtown. I got everything, whatever I need is close. What is the name of that pupuseria? It's very famous in La Ruspel, in the corner of there Tropico of Inn. Pupuseria. Gorritos. Gorritos. Uh, Gorritos. <clears throat> Do you remember a story maybe? 10 or 13 years ago, uh, Gorritos closed because everybody got sick yeah. one mm -hmm. night. Actually, I don't remember. That's a really long time ago. Yeah, I was I, I was remember. a victim. I was one of the victims. <laughs> really? Yeah, you know, it was strange because I I used to work in a Camero Pea, so it's, it was in front of Tropico Inn. In that time, I I, I, I don't That's know right. now. I don't know now, but so I used to eat dinner frequently in Los Corritos. And that day I ate dinner and at night, I promise you my, my stomach was literally, it moved. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my God. And it was horrible. I mean, it was this terrible. I never felt that before. So I went to the bathroom and I vomited. And then, you know, I went back to sleep. And then 10 minutes later, I went again to vomit. And then I came back and then I would drink water because, you know, I hydrating. And then when I drink water, five minutes later, I was vomiting. Oh, and then this, Yes, it was at night. So my uh, coworker, another teacher, he told me, no, let's go to the hospital. You're sick. And I said, no, I mean, I said, I'm not going to go to the hospital for a stomach ache. But really, then I was dizzy. I couldn't, I couldn't. Uh. So we went to the hospital. And when we were, when I was there that night, there were like five more people with the same symptoms. And, you know, and the doctors, they did an exam on us and we had amoebas. Oh, but, but listen to this. El animal que estaba dentro, like the, the animal was inside eating. 
Son de esos que se sube el cerebro que dicen que. So maybe, maybe if that day mm -hmm. I didn't go to the hospital, that happened. So in conclusion, the doctor started investigating. What did you eat today? Pupusas. And you, pupusas, pupusas, pupusas. Where? Los gorritos, los gorritos. Los... Oh. <laughs> so um, eventually many people, like everybody that ate pupusas that night in there got sick. So then the next day, Gorritos was closed for like three months, two months, I think. It's like, oops, <laughs> they disappeared or something. But it was a terrible, terrible experience, amigos, man. The only good thing is, perdí como ocho libras en un día. <laughs> That's the only... I, 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 don't, I don't get it because... This is supposed, it's like a parasite, right? Yes. But I don't get it, but because it takes time to grow. Yes, uh -huh. yes, that's, that's what happened. But maybe the, the food was so, so old or not every, I mean, everybody got sick. I had, mm -hmm. I had animals inside of me. I was like, Legumbre, That's a lot of yes, everybody had that. So nobody, nobody, you know, I mean, they must be very dirty. <laughs> or maybe they had like chicharrón recontra podrido, you know, and just ah, cook it. And when, what I do whenever I go out to eat, I just review the food before I eat because. That happened to me in San Salvador because I went to San Salvador and I remember I went to the terminal. I ate some hamburger and at A night perro I burger. was, yeah, I was with this diarrhea. <laughs> was awful. You know, you want to hear a, an ugly story. When I was living in San Miguel, I remember on the weekends I came to San Salvador. So one day I was going to go to San Miguel and I was in the bus I'm, oh, tengo I haven't eaten I haven't eaten and you know I was still in the terminal inside the bus and this little boy he went in selling panes you know pan mata niño whatever hey give me give me uh, give me two um, so mm, they're good but I was very very hungry so I told the bus driver what time how much time do we have he said 10 minutes oh okay so I got off the bus looking for the little kid because I wanted more sandwiches. So I, I didn't find him. And I was asking this man, and this man had a bucket. Do you know what is a bucket? I promise you, yes. I promise you, with his hand, he was mixing everything, and he would get the food and squish it. And all the water came out. And putting it in the bread. Like that was the bread I was eating. And I said, I said, are you selling that bread? Are you selling that sandwich? And you know, in that time, it was not like today. So do you have a problem? Like he was a marero or something. Me habló bien hasta el momento, no sé qué me dijo. I I only understood he said. I don't know the rest of what he said. And I said, no, no, thank you. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. So. No, that was awful. So bad, bad experience. Have you ever, class, have you ever had a bad experience at a restaurant, maybe? In my case, uh, no at a restaurant, but around three three or two weeks ago, I bought a mango. And then after an hour, <laughs> I had diarrhea. <laughs> but you know, let's give the benefit of the, well, you know, do you know what mal, you know what mal de mayo is? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Do you know, do you know the story why is mal de mayo? I was listening to the radio once and they said 
what happens is that during that season, March, April, you know, all the trees, all the trees have fruit. It's the season, mango season, hokote season, everything. So when the trees fall, many people just get the mango, clean it, and start eating it. They don't wash it. They don't wash the mango or their hands. So they get diarrhea. And then these people go to their home, to their bathroom, and they pass the diarrhea to their family, and it's a domino effect. It's the domino effect. That's why they get, they always get dirty. Yeah, that's the problem because it seems, I remember, I don't know, when I was a kid, maybe 12 years old, uh, the, this disease, the cholera. Oh, remember yeah. that? Oh, yeah. So it was awful. I remember it was really a complicated disease. And, and I remember the thing is that, is that, that really bad have it or clean it nobody cleans nobody hands and it's kind of a habit so i think it's really important from that i think then, then i started to be more careful with my cleaning yes so I, I am think this is I, a... yeah more careful no it's good i am picky i am picky now when i eat from the street i am very picky especially minutas because um men you understand we are men and i think hmm, this man is really touching the ice with his hand <laughs> this man works in the street all day where does he go to the bathroom does he clean his hands because with that hand whenever he, he wants mm -hmm. yeah. stop talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah just but but I love to eat food in the street though. I I always. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Let's. We're going to do a listening. Let me share my screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. I yes. Okay. Yes. So we're going to do a listening. Listen to a conversation between friends, then check if it's true or false. Okay, so I guess the friend says Megan, Carla, Ryan. And that's it. So let's hear. Hold on. Listen to a conversation between two friends, Ryan and Megan. Then check. I'm sorry, class. Can you hear me? Can you hear the audio? True or false? Your audio, yes. Okay. Yeah. Listen okay. to a conversation between two friends. Ryan and Megan, then check true or false. Hi, Megan. Hey, Ryan. Were you at that huge party last weekend? You mean the one that took up the whole city block? Yeah, I can't believe how many people were there. I know. I didn't want to go, but my friend Doug dragged me along. I didn't see you there. I had a great time, and we met a really cool girl there. My sister and I went to the Natural History Museum with her on Wednesday. What's she like? Well, her name's Carla, and I thought she was pretty shy and reserved at first. But she's not? Nope. Once I started talking to her, I realized she wasn't shy at all, just calm and cool. It just goes to show you that people aren't always what they seem like at first. No kidding. Oh, and Carla and I discovered we have a lot of friends in common. Really? I'm surprised you haven't met before. Yeah, me too. So what does she do? She works at home. 
She runs a business out of her living room. Doing what? She teaches middle school and high school kids how to save money for college. Carla sounds like a strong and independent woman. Yeah, she definitely is. Cool. Hey, we're going for lunch tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to come? Sure, I'd love to meet her. Great. Meet us at that Thai restaurant. You know, the... Okay, did you hear the story? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. now let me get out of this. Let me share my screen again. Okay, so Ryan wanted to go to the party. Is that true or false? Uh, it's false. Ryan did not want to go to the party. Okay. Megan met a shy girl at the party. That's true. False. 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 She thought she was. She thought she was. Oh, okay. She thought she was um, shy, but she wasn't. Carla knows a lot of people. Hold on, please. I'm sorry. True. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Carla knows a lot of people that Megan's friends know. True. true. That's true. Okay, that's true. Carla works in an office. False. Ryan will join his friend and Carla for lunch. True. True. Okay, let's. True. Okay, great. Let's listen to part two. <clears throat> Passages, third edition, Can you level hear? one, unit two quiz. Yes, yes. 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 A. Listen to a conversation between two classmates, Mike and Anna. Then check the correct answers. Anna, what did you think of the English final? I don't know, Mike. I thought it was pretty hard. Yeah, I thought so too. But I feel pretty good about it. Hey, do you know what happened to Kelly? She didn't show up for the exam. I don't know. But we were supposed to meet right after class to talk about our final project. Do you think she's sick? Hmm. I just talked to her last night and she seemed okay. I doubt she got sick so quickly. Well, I should have said something to Professor Atkins. I wonder if she noticed that Kelly wasn't there. Probably not. There are 55 people in our class. But Kelly never misses class. Do you think Professor Atkins will let her take a makeup exam? Yeah, she let me take a makeup exam once. I suspect she'll do the same for Kelly. I hope so. Let's call Kelly now and see if she's okay. Okay, um, do you know what is a makeup exam? And no, I think uh, we could... maybe a, a second then... chance to do the exam. I think we, we call it here extraordinary, I think Yeah, it, it's like a reposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was. I, I mean, reposition is not the word, but in Spanish, that's how they say it. I think in Spanish we say reposición, right? Olympiadas no, no, no. La posición es si uno lo hace y lo falla, lo vuelve a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí, eso es como reposición. Okay, no. Makeup es mañana en el examen no pude llegar, lo puedo hacer el lunes. That's makeup. Okay. Okay. So Mike plans to meet Kelly after class. After class. So Mike had plans. So after class, Anna 
thinks Kelly got sick. Alan doesn't. Uh, Anna doesn't think Kelly got sick. Doesn't think. Doesn't think Kelly got sick. Okay. Anna thinks Professor Atkins knew Kelly missed the exam or didn't know Kelly missed the exam. Didn't know Kelly, Kelly, Kelly missed the, the exam. exam. What? <laughs> I heard. <laughs> I heard many <laughs> answers. Didn't know Kelly missed. I'm sorry. Can you excuse me one moment, please? I'm sorry. Hold on, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Can you hear me now? Okay. So I'm sorry. So Anna thinks Professor Atkins knew Kelly missed the exam or didn't know Kelly missed the exam? Didn't know Kelly missed the didn't exam. Didn't know. Didn't know. Okay, Professor Atkins usually allows makeup test or doesn't allow makeup test? Allows makeup test. Hmm. Great, they're all good. Now choose the correct word or choose the words. Instructions, part one, it says type the verb that best completes each sentence. Use infinitive or gerunds. Do not need, um, do not need to use capital letters or periods. Number one, Maria avoids blank in other people's problems. Getting. 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 David insists on a big deal out of his birthday every year. Making. Making. I hate that. I hate it when people make a big deal of their birthday. Make. I have a, well, she's my cousin. She's like 40 years old and she makes plans for her birthday like three or four months before. You know, and she talks about her birth. I mean, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday. Come on, man. <laughs> I am more like, hey, tomorrow's my birthday. Let's do something. Or if not, okay. <laughs> but making a big deal. But, you know, it's okay. I mean, girls usually like that. You know. Sorry, but it's weird when people celebrate um, dog's birthday with cake. Balloons and all that. Yeah, that's true. I don't care for clubs, but I enjoy blank to late to the late movie on Saturdays. Going. 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 Okay. Jenna hates blank to the radio because of the commercials. To listen. To listen. You know, I think I think both are correct here. Yeah. I mean, to listen no, but, and listen. But it's to listen. I completed it today with and hate. it's to listen. Oh, the platform it goes with listen. That's what I don't like about the platform. It doesn't give you the option of the two. Sometimes the two are correct. Number five, Kevin has a job, but he still likes blank in his free time. Volunteer. Volunteering. To vol volunteering. To volunteering. Oh, really? He put volunteering. Both, I think both are. Both are correct, actually. <laughs> volunteering. Number six. I don't like loud music, but I don't mind blank a live band occasionally. Same. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Next, it says part two instructions. Type in the modals. Okay, I'm sorry. It says type in only the modals that best complete each sentence. Choose between should, could, must, might. Hey, my internet is just why. Okay, um, I'm sorry. Type in the only modals that best choose each sentence. Choose between should, could, must, might, negative or affirmative. Do not need to use the capital letters or periods. 
Jean was late. She. Sure. Mouse. Mouse. Actually, she must have been sick. That's correct. She might have been sick. That's correct. She could have been sick. The three are correct. Okay. But I don't know what the platform is going to say. Jack didn't call me back. He blank have been busy. Must he must might he might he must he could I mean they're all the same. I mean it's pretty much the same. He let's say, let's say must. I didn't do well on the exam. I blank have gone out the night before. Shouldn't. Yeah, here's I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gone out the night before. Good. Number four, that loud noise blank have been a tall tree falling. Might. Might, Might have been. Instead of chatting online, I blank have been cleaning my apartment. I should. I should have, no. yes. I should. I should have, yes. That intersection is dangerous. Drivers. Must. Must. Yeah. Nope. Um, I'm sorry. These are correct. There. I mean. She could have been sick. She might have been sick. She, she, ¿cuál es la otra que dije? she should know. She could have been sick. She must have been sick. She might have been sick are correct. Okay. Uh -huh. So if the, if the platform says no, I'm sorry, but there are more options. It's correct. There's not only one correct answer. Okay. I don't know why they do this, really. I don't know. I, we have spoken many times in reunions. Give the options for more answers. It's not only one answer. Oh, por lo menos que diga. Huh? More, than one, more than one answer is possible. So let's do the next one. Type the words. I imagine the same thing's going to happen here. Only one answer. Okay, so Carla, the correct is ignores. Carla ignores her problems. She thinks that other people will do something about them. This, yes, I think this is the only possible answer. Number two, Bo Wei isn't sure what's wrong with his bike. When he blanked the problem, he'll fix it. Identify when he identifies the problem. Good. Mia's life always runs smoothly. It seems like she never blank unexpected problems run into. Marco is a great boss. I like the way he problems that come up with. So I like the way he deals with problems. Deal with deal with don't ask Kim don't ask Kim to ignore us she blank problems wherever she goes Cause. she causes yes Cause. Cause. you shouldn't scratch an insect bite it only aggravates Aggravates the problem. Part two, instructions. Choose the best word that best completes each sentence. I just saw Sarah at the cafe, so I blank, she's in town. So I know for a fact she's in town. I know for a fact. 
Um. Joe's plane landed two hours ago, so I am not sure why he hasn't gotten home yet. Not sure. Yes, I'm not sure why he hasn't gotten home yet. It sounded noisy when Vera called, so I suspect she's out shopping. Yeah. Junko, that's a weird name. Junko said she checked her email, so I assume oh, yeah. she has an internet. She has oh, yeah. internet access. <clears throat> Jerry loves football. I I have a hunch he'll be at the game today. Do you notice I have a hunch? Hmm? No, I have a hunch. Do you notice I have a hunch? I saw it today on Google and it was like tener una corazonada. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a hunch. Can you can you put I have a hunch in a sentence? Uh, I have a hunch it's going to rain today. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like me, I have a hunch tomorrow is going to be a chaos. Because vacations start tomorrow. For many people, not for everybody. I have a hunch that winter is coming. But you know what? <clears throat> That's a good point, Claudia. Um, El Salvador doesn't have winter. Excuse me, hold on. Sure. Um, remember that El Salvador is a tropical, it's a tropical country, and tropical countries only have dry season and wet season. Ah, okay. I mean, we say winter because we think that when it rains it's cold, but it's not correct to say that because if you tell, imagine, imagine somebody's coming from Canada and they never have visited El Salvador. And then they say, hey, how is El Salvador in, in May? Oh, it's winter. So that person from Canada, oh my God, I'm gonna go in winter. Really, for winter for us, it's totally different winter for them. That poor person in Canada is going to come with sweaters, jacket and everything. And people say, why, why? You told me it's winter. You know, <laughs> oh no, Salesima because it rains. Oh, so it's not winter. So um that's that, but you know, but as la noticia dice el invierno ha llegado. <laughs> but remember, winter is un sinónimo de helado. Okay. Um, and the uh, now, I don't know, maybe Guatemala, because I know that in Guatemala, there are some places that are very, very cold. Yeah. But in El Salvador, it's just wet season and dry season. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. So I have a hunch. Oh, class, remember, there's no class next week. Okay. Today was it's our final class. Yes, I thought I thought we were going to have classes Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but no. It's the whole week. Thank you for letting. Yes. OK, teacher, I will miss the class. Yeah, you know, I, I think it was, I, I think we should have continued it, but, you know, because really the only, the official days is 
Thursday and Friday, correct? Yes, on the yes. Thursday and Friday. In it's a Siaman federal federal holidays in English. It's Season? like a sueto. Sí, pero uh, uh, sueto is a holiday. Pero hay dos tipos de suetos. Uno que es federal y el otro que es like, like a normal holiday. <laughs> okay. Like for example, uh, yes. Uh, by the way, talking about the uh, holidays and that, so how in United States they have vacation? We have 15 days in a year, but I, I don't get I don't understand how they deal with that. I know some PTO, but I don't get it. What, what is how they go to vacation? I mean, well, you know, I, have, I, I mean, I work in an American company, but I don't go I meet. Mean, I know how that trust them to ask them. Okay. Because it's on my business. I would recommend you to have federal, federal, federal holidays in the United States. Those holidays, nobody works. But then there are national holidays. Like in El Salvador, next week, the government, some schools, hasta some companies, well, Inglés Corporativo, they will take the complete week for vacation. But the legal, the only legal days is Thursday and Friday. Yes. Entonces, si tú le dices a tu empleador aquí en Salvador, hey, no, pero no, no, es toda la Semana Santa. No, ¿y dónde dice? No, y que mi mamá no va a trabajar, ella trabaja en el gobierno. Ah, your mom. Pero la ley dice, you know, that the only uh, federal holidays is Thursday and Friday. But you know what, Jesus? I prefer the holidays in the United States. Why? Because, like, like, let me give you an example. El Día de los Muertos en El Salvador, right? If it's Sunday, it's Sunday. <laughs> mm. And in the United States, no. A federal holiday, the majority, it's always the first Monday off. Or Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Like, like no... Thanksgiving. Exactly. Thanksgiving mm. is never... It's, it's, it's the fourth Thursday of November. It's or not in the last. No, the fourth. Or the, yeah. Oh. Or the, because sometimes if November starts on Thursday, it will have five Thursdays. Uh -huh. So it's the last. It's the fourth. Ah, it's the fourth. Okay. Mm -hmm. sometimes, it, sometimes November has four, four Thursdays, sometimes five. But it's the fourth. So um, that's why, Bert, I prefer I, I prefer the um, American holidays. Dia, Dia la Madre, it's two. Uh, it's yeah. uh, the this, second Sunday of of I May. Don't know what of month, May. Of May. Mm -hmm. But Dia la Madre is not federal. No, it's federal. No, no, it's like national. Mm -hmm. Or late, but... <laughs> like for example, Christmas. Christmas in El Salvador. Uno dice, hey, pero yo 24. Sí, pero 24 de diciembre no es holiday. 25 es. Yes. Claro, van a haber empresas buena onda que no, 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 no vengamos el 24. Pero si la empresa, la empresa quiere que ustedes lleguen. Se puede defender con la ley, you know, like, hey, no. Y lo hacen, ¿no? Hay, hay empresas que trabajan. Well, call centers. Call centers work 24-7. The bank. No, the bank It's doesn't open. Yes. The bank doesn't open in Christmas. Oh, yes. Bank. bank. The bank opens December 25th. 25, no, oh, okay, 24, see. yes. Yes, 24, yes, because it's not, 
it's not a holiday. Yeah. 24 is not a holiday. 25th yeah. is a holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in the call center, you work 24 and 25. Yeah. Si por ellos fueran ocho días de la semana. <laughs> yes. Okay, so read the instruction, read the sentences, choose from the following words that best describe each person. Type them in. Lowercase. Do you know what is lowercase? Yes. Look, this is uppercase. Minuscula. Uh -huh. You see what I said right there, Baltrons? Do you see my screen? Uh, yes, 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 okay. yes, 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 yes. That's my last name. That's my last name in uppercase. No. That's in lowercase. Oh. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, déjeme decirle una una cosa bien importante que ya que estamos hablando de mayúsculas y minúsculas, porque en español no lo son. Ustedes saben que en inglés todo nombre propio lleva mayúscula. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, yes. Pero también los días y meses son con mayúscula en inglés. Ok, ok. En español no, en español podemos decir hoy es, hoy es jueves, con minúscula. Uh -huh. Y bien claro, porque jueves es un nombre propio. Y, o cuando es un título, por ejemplo, Don Quijote de la Mancha, todo, Don de mayúscula, Quijote de mayúscula, D mayúscula, L mayúscula, M mayúscula. Todos los títulos también llevan mayúscula. En, en español solo sería Don Quijote, solo esos dos llevan a mayúscula de la mancha. <coughs> so in English, no, in English, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, January, February, March, April, May, all those are with capital. Yes. <coughs> okay, so let's do this. Read the sentence, choose from the following words that best describe each person. Type them in, lower ca lowercase letters. Periods are not needed. Friendly and outgoing. Do you know what is outgoing? Like extrovertido? Yes. <clears throat> I love people like that. Strong and independent. What? Do you know what is strong and independent? Yep. Neat and titty. That's new for me. That's like organized. That's like what? Orga someone who likes to keep everything in, in their place, like in order. Yes. He is neat and titty. It's like that person que pone todos los billetes de la misma forma, you know, like, todas las caras viendo abajo, caras viendo arriba, viendo los... <clears throat> That's my wife. Then we have wild and crazy. Mauricio Funes, when he was president. <laughs> when he had power, he was wild and crazy. Now he, yes. he's, now he's only crazy. Mm. Okay, so number one, it says, Judy loves going to clubs and staying out late. She is? 
Wild and crazy. Okay, she can be wild and crazy or outgoing, no? Yes. I would say outgoing, but wild and crazy too. I mean, it's kind of similar. There is an S after you. Oh. You must uh, type the like the Thank two you. adjectives in the same answer, not just one. Oh, so the platform only has one possible answer. Yes, that's correct. Okay. It should be either strong and independent or friendly and up and outgoing. Should be the two of them. Really? I have to put the both? Yes. I did it today. Let me check. Wild and crazy. I mean, there's a person who's pushing me to complete the platform, so I, I just do it. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's good. It's good. But listen, what I want you to understand that sometimes the answers, it's an opinion. <clears throat> because Judy loves going to clubs and staying out late. Sometimes that's not crazy. You know, in my opinion, that's not wild and crazy. That's outgoing, in my opinion. Oh, that's he said. Judy loves, she loves doing um, sports. Como se llaman deporte de? Extreme sports? Extreme sports, yeah. Judy loves doing extreme sports all the time. Now, that's wild and crazy. You know, Judy loves going to the Mallorca Bull Festival. La Colía de Toros de Mallorca es, ¿no? Pamplomo. Ah, Pamplomo, yes, thank you. That's wild, crazy, and stupid. <laughs> so Tom always introduces himself to new students and invites them for coffee. He is friendly and outgoing. Okay. I would say he's friendly. Do you know what outgoing? Yes, yeah, because do you know what outgoing is? Mm. Is the synonym of talkative? Excuse me. Okay, like for example, Claudia, excuse me, you can invent. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. How long have you been with your boyfriend? Mm, around eight years. Eight years? Yes. Are you married? No. No, no. Eight years. How old are you? Oh, yeah, you're 24, huh? 25. Eight years with the... Wow, that's so long. Do you still love him? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yes. No, I'm joking. No, but like, look, the reason why I ask you this is because this is outgoing. For me, this is outgoing. Imagine... I go with my girlfriend. Tenemos un mes en that, right? Hey, vamos a las ruedas. You know? And <clears throat> I tell my girlfriend, that's it, it's deeper. Do you want to get on? Yeah. Let's, yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Good. So she's outgoing. She likes, she likes adventure. Porque hay una que, no, me da miedo. And, and then there are some like, yeah. You know, grita más que ya. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Outgoing? Yes. 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 I knew it was like the opposite of introvert. Yeah. Like extrovert, I guess, is the, the mm -hmm. word. Yeah. Ronald, do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Imagine if you go to your girlfriend to that restaurant in the in the volcano and picnic. That and, overrated place, okay. Yes. El tobogán, you know? You yes. know that slide? Do, do you think if you tell your girlfriend, hey, let's go, do you think she'll say yes? Yes, she would, like, take that slide. 
Okay, but you should go, yeah, let's do it. Okay, good. So that's outgoing. Because mm -hmm. normally, normally some people say, no, 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 I can't feel okay, man. Yeah, it's okay. So outgoing is like doing doing something, not afraid. Yes. Okay. yes. Mia puts her clothes and books away every night before bed. She is neat and titty. Alice is never afraid to make decisions without asking others what they think. She is strong and independent. Um. Okay, let's do this reading. Read Jessica's blog. The cir and then circle the words that best complete each sentence. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a good holiday. I didn't post yesterday because we had a huge dinner at my great aunt Susie's house. My extended family was all there. My cousins, aunts, uncles, and nieces and nephews. The great thing about Thanksgiving is that everyone cooks. Each person brings a dish. My favorite dish this year was my brother-in-law's Andy's apple cranberry pie. I made baked broccoli with cheese nuts. I'm not afraid of trying new recipes, but it was a mistake. I noticed that people weren't eating it. And when I tasted it, I knew why. It was really awful. My wild and crazy great uncle Pete loudly announced that whoever ate the most baked broccoli would win a prize. A bottle of stomach medicine. The cool thing about Thanksgiving is you get to know your family better. And if you make a bad recipe, everyone's there to laugh along with you. Yeah. Not in El Salvador, it's about people. Well. Decirle a tu esposa, mm, es más rica la de mi mamá. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, don't, don't say that. So, um, it says Thanksgiving dinner at Jessica's house. Thanksgiving dinner was at Jessica's great aunt Susie's house, right? Right, great aunt Susie. <clears throat> Yeah. Everyone, everyone did the cooking. Jessica's brother-in-law made apple cranberry pie. Hmm. Broccoli. Jessica blank the new recipe she tried. So Jessica didn't like. The broccoli made everyone laugh. <laughs> Less. Okay, class. So, um, before we finish, do you have any plans for? Do you have any plans for vacation? For me, no. Yes, only clean in the house. <laughs> okay. What about you, Bert? Hmm. Not really, just staying home because. But you're going to work. Just, right? Yeah, only Tuesday and Friday, just the two two days. Oh, you're and, going to you're going to rest work. Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have time enough to do. By the way, I love electronic. Did I mention before? But I love electronic stuff. Okay. And kind of holy. It's a kind of a holy because uh, since I was a kid, I wanted to work as that, but never happened. So you like gadgets? Gadgets? Yes, I love. This is the Internet of Things. Did that 
I think you have heard about this term, right? Internet of things. Internet de las cosas. Yes, the gadgets. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I like gadgets too. I like to buy gadgets and sometimes I don't use them, but I like to have them. <laughs> what about you, Gerardo? What are your plans? I have two big plans. One, and, and the first is that I'm part of a association and that makes um, social, interest, social, social interest projects. So we have a, a project in Suchitoto that it starts on this Monday, two, I think. It will be 15 days project. So I will go with my teamwork. Um, you know, Gerardo, those days. I'm sorry, Gerardo, I have a question. Do you have ear? Hold on. Let me, I'm going to put you in pause. Do you have? Different earphones, maybe with cable. Because let me let me tell you why. Yeah. But the microphone, it's here. It's so the microphone picks everything around you. So when I live, I, I don't know if it's only me, I don't know the class, <laughs> but you hear a lot of noise in the back. Yes, teacher, you're right. No, but you, I, I, family is back behind me. No, no, but it, the, the, it happens because you know they're so small. So the microphone, like like me, look, my microphone is by my mouth. Your microphone is by your ear. <laughs> so then the microphone, yes. the microphone the picks the the sound from around your house. That's why sometimes it's hard to under to listen to you. Okay, sorry, teacher. No, 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 it's okay. Do you have to another or like the normal the, the, the cable? I don't have, but I will, I will, oh. I, I will find, but one. but but I do like those it's like earbuds, right? They're cool, yes, they're earbuds. You know, I had I had some Samsungs, the ones that block the noise. Wow, those are incredible. Because yes, I, I put them really on. Good. Yes, and they really they block the noise. <laughs> and how, how much they cost? <clears throat> well, they were it, it was my Christmas from my, my family in the United States. Y los perdí. Prefiero pensar que los perdí que me los robaron. But <clears throat> yo no quería eso, de que they block the noise. Because, like for example, like right now, I have the earphones, but I can hear, I can hear outside, I can hear my wife. But those earphones, you put them in, and you couldn't hear anything. Only, only the earphones. Yes. So I have one of them. Yeah, but I are those Samsungs? No, they are Xiaomi. Okay, but you know what? I think after you know thinking about it, I think they're dangerous because, for example, though the the ones mine, the ones I had. <clears throat> imagine you put them in and you're running in the street. Imagine a car, eh, 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 you don't hear. Sometimes it's important to listen outside. You know, like. You know, I well, me my. <clears throat> All right, so I'm sorry. So Gerardo, you have a project in Suchitoto, a so, social. So a few words, a few words. I have a social work in Suchitoto. Will be some days in Suchitoto, and when I finish, I want to go to to the beach with my family. Is that from Anda or a church or? No. No one of them. Okay, it's just like a volunteer. Yes, just like that. Okay, good for you. Good for you. Thanks. Thanks. What about you, Claudia? I will have to work. Oh yes, you have, have to. Work. Yes. <laughs> hey, but you get paid double. 
Yes. That is a good reason. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, you pay double, right? <laughs> and, uh, and I won't have traffic. Yet. And no traffic, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yes, no traffic. That's cool. <clears throat> okay, class, listen. Um, so I wish you a uh, happy Christmas. No. I wish you happy vacations. Me too. Yes. Thanks, teacher. You too. Thank you. Okay. Take care, please. Take care. Yes, you too. Thank you. Be careful, okay? If it's not necessary to go to the beach, too many people, too many stupid people driving drunk, you know. Yes, avoid, avoid problems. Avoid Actually, traffic. I prefer getting drunk at home. Exactly. That's the best. With Thank the patio, you. with that patio you have, you don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> and the roof. <laughs> yes, and the roof. <laughs> okay, class. Bye bye. I'll see you next, not in two weeks. What? Not this week, but next week. Until the next okay. Monday. Okay, until next Monday. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye. -bye.